Hey, it's Jeff, and I gotta admit I'm a little bit grumpy right now. We should be in the middle of a huge winter storm, tons of snow falling, but instead the temperature's just above freezing, so we've got, it's raining outside. And it's not, so it's not only not snowing, but the rain is just melting all the great snow away. And I'm a little bummed out. So I thought I'd do a little something different and do a bit of a grab bag. I recently did this survey asking all my, the people that are following me what their biggest challenges in their business. And I got thousands of responses. So I just thought I'd just flip through the survey and just start taking some of these and answering them really quick. So here we go. The first one to the, what's your, the n number one single biggest challenge in your business right now is this person, I'm not gonna name names, but I'm just gonna go through this quick. This person said, bandwidth. I know how to market and I do it for clients 24 seven. My challenge is making the time and committing to it fearlessly to create my own marketing assets. So, you know, this is what the deal is, is you gotta treat yourself as a client. You just have to carve out some time and say, I'm gonna do this. I mean, really what we're talking about, you, you use the word here is commitment or committing, but that, that word commitment, that's what you gotta do. You gotta carve out some time and say, I'm gonna to commit to creating something. Because you can't sit around and wait for the perfect sunny day, for there to be a big gap in your schedule, for you to feel the confidence. I, I shot a video for this a little bit ago about you know a lot of times people sit around and wait till they're confident that they, you know, you, you just have to commit. The commitment comes before the confidence. The commitment comes before the capability, really. So you just have to treat yourself as a client, carve out some time, and saying, I am going to commit because I want to change my life. I want to make more money. I want to, uh, you know, have a better lifestyle. I want to have more freedom. I want to help more people and say, I'm just going to go ahead and commit and get this done. You know, the deal is, is if it doesn't work, it doesn't matter. I mean, you can fail and you can fail and you can fail and you can fail. No one's going to know it. And if the fifth time you're successful or the 10th time you're successful, that, that's what people are going to remember. So just go ahead, carve out that time in your schedule, say, this is a time where I'm not going to take client work, or this is a chunk of time, or this is a chunk of time once a week or once a day where I'm going to work on my stuff, treat yourself like a client. I mean, you're already getting results for people. You might as well get results for yourself. So just commit and do it. Okay, next question here. Um, how to convert a big social media following into an email list of an equal size? Uh, so that I love your thinking of taking people from social and putting them on an email list. I've shot countless videos about this, about you know how an email list is the greatest thing you can build. Um, but the reality is, is say you got say you got ten thousand people on Facebook that are following you. You're not going to convert all of them. You're not going to have a hundred percent conversion right off the bat. It doesn't mean you can't have an email list of ten thousand eventually, but you might only be able to convert one in 10 of those people, or or maybe one in a hundred of them. But you just start moving them over. And the way you do that is you create something of real value for them, uh, a lead magnet, something that they really want. It could be a video, it could be a PDF, it could be a, a series of emails, it could be a pie, whatever. It, and you create that thing that people really want, and then you create an opt-in page and then you start sending people from social over your opt-in page and get try to get them to put their email address in, you know, to get that cool thing, whatever it is. It's that simple. It's not like a one-shot deal. You got it's gonna be over time, you're gonna to continue to, to push people over. I mean, really, that's what I do in these videos. I'll often tell people to click over from my videos over to my blog because they might be watching these videos on YouTube or embedded on someone else's website or on Facebook or wherever, but I'm always saying, go to my blog, that's where all the action is. And guess what, on my blog, there's a place where they can put in their email address. So the thing is, is you know, an email following is just so much more valuable, so much. I recently mentioned Casey Neistat and him selling his business. I think the number was around, I don't know, 20 or $25 million theoretically, that he sold for. And um, that number, I, it's not official or anything. And he, but he did have, at the time, about 6 million subscribers. And if you do the math, it comes out to about $4 per YouTube subscriber. And all this math is fuzzy, and it's not perfect, and there's details, the devil's in the details, and all that. 
but the thing is, is so if that, let's just say that is about $4 per YouTube subscriber. That's great for him, but you know, the thing is, is if you if you have an email list, you can generally make $1 per month per subscriber. So if those 6 million followers on YouTube were actually 6 million email subscribers, instead of selling for 20 to 25 million, he could be making $6 million per month. And of course, that oversimplifies everything to, to a huge degree. But it just shows email subscribers are worth a lot more. So it's a great that you're thinking about this. And it's just really simple. You just move them over by putting together a really good lead magnet and send something to that, to that opt-in page. I'm taking too long on each one of these questions. Sorry about that. Um, I'll try to get through a couple quick ones. Um, here's one. So I'm, it's my biggest marketing challenge is to get free targeted traffic, ASAP. Your marketing challenge isn't to get free targeted traffic. Your, your marketing challenge is to have an offer that's converting at a high enough level where you can pay for traffic. And I'm not saying paying for traffic is the end all be all and the only way to do things because free traffic is great, but it isn't you need free targeted traffic, you need targeted traffic. Whether it's free or paid, that's a matter of math. It's putting together an offer that converts well enough so that you can attract traffic, whether it's free or whether it's paid. And I'll tell you what, free is never free. There's always effort behind free. So take out that idea that you need free traffic. I mean, free traffic is great, but it shouldn't be your only source of traffic. What your real job is to, is to get your conversions high enough so that you can bring in traffic from a variety of sources, including paid. Or you can, or you, you know, the free traffic that you're actually doing hard work for, maybe you can have someone on your team, you can create a team that helps you generate that free traffic. Um, let's see, what else? Here's one. Um, I'm really waiting to see something different in marketing by respecting the customer and bringing as good content as I can. So this is a weird one. It's not really, it's hard to understand what's really going on, but it sounds like this person's offended because they want to see something different in marketing and they want to respect the customer and bring good. I mean, if, if you want to bring out great content and treat people well, just because other people are not doing it, that's not going to stop you from doing it. So just go ahead and start putting out great content and respecting the customer. And that's a fantastic way to grow the business. And to the extent that other people are not doing that, that makes you that much more powerful. So don't worry about what other people are doing. Just, just do something great yourself. Okay, I uh, will take one more quick one because this is getting, uh, here's one, not having the resources to do a pro video series for my launches. You know what? This is a phone. Pretty much everyone's got one. This is an iPhone, but it doesn't matter what kind of phone you've got, you've got a good enough camera to create a great video series. Um, you know, you can do a selfie, boom. Talking, into, you don't, it doesn't have to be pro. You just have to be able to look into the camera and connect, connect with your audience and get them excited. Transfer your enthusiasm to the viewer, to whoever you're reaching. If you can't, if you don't have the resources or you don't have the capabilities to put together a Super Pro Series, doesn't matter. It matters, it, this is a communication medium and it's looking into the lens and communicating your confidence and, and your ability to help your, your prospect in some way, whether you're gonna, give them more pleasure or take pain away from them, whatever it is, it's not about having super pro quality video. I mean, I do. These days in my launches, we go pretty high end. It's super, it's, dar it's pretty darn pro, but I didn't start that way. And I did millions and millions and millions of dollars in sales without being pro at all, with having the most basic cameras, without even having tripods. So don't wait have pro gear. Don't wait to have the ability to create great pro video. Just get something out there. Look in the camera and connect. Look in the camera and share your enthusiasm and you'll win. Okay, so that's a little bit of a different experiment with this. Um, I proved to myself it still takes me a minute or two to answer each question, but that's okay. Uh, let Scroll down, leave a comment for me. Tell me what you think. Tell me if, you, if this format was cool because I could do this forever, basically. And 
Um, where, yeah, just scroll down, leave a comment. Let me t tell me what you think. Leave another question for me. Maybe I'll get an answer to you. And let's go get them this week.